really excited except I was a little kind of disappointed in myself that I, I didn't feel like I had written a song that was that simple, uh, you know, honest and true song that I felt like anyone could relate to. So I sat down and uh, I made, and as a songwriter, the best thing you can do when a songwriter asks us, you know, how can I write better? All we say is just be honest, right? Just write from who you are and what you know. And so uh, what I did in my mind is I started making a list of who I am, you know, who is Mark Martell, right from this list. And uh, I made this kind of extensive, exhaustive list, and, and I sat there kind of proud of myself because everything in the list had to do with Jesus, um, whether it be the people I knew and the places I'd been and my job and all this stuff. And uh, I thought to myself, man, I've got so much to write from. I should be able to do something really good with this. And um, really out of the blue, the Spirit of God led me to, uh, while I was sitting there, the second verse of the Bible, Genesis 1, chapter 2. And it's always been a really sort of weird, mysterious verse to me. I don't get it, but it's such a beautiful picture where the Spirit of God is hovering over the waters of creation before he even formed the earth. And uh, suddenly that list that I had made up in my mind of me, this grandiose picture of Mark Martell, seemed really small and ridiculous in a really beautiful way. And it was a, a reminder to me that it's not because of anything I've done or any talent that, that I have or my upbringing or anything like that that I can know God. Um, the only reason that I can stand up here and sing about Jesus and claim to know him every night and invite people into a relationship with, with him is because of what he's done, because of his grace, his love, and his mercy, to stoop down and tell us who he is. And uh, if I'm going to keep doing this, if we're going to keep doing this every night, we better keep getting to know him, because if he's an infinite God, we've all got a really, really long way to go. This is a new song. I hope you like it. It's called Let Me Rediscover You. Your spirit burns over my waters. Your love burns longer than the sun. The skies of thunder echo your wonder. Your praises can't be oversung.
back to the brand new song you never heard, but uh, if in any way you heard those lyrics and you thought, me too, I've been there, and, uh, and you've, like me, grown up in the church or grown up knowing Jesus all your life, and you get to those points where you need a refreshing, or if this is your first time kind of investigating who Christ is, what he's done for you, and you've come with these presuppositions of who he is, and you need him to demolish them down and start fresh. Just sing that with me, that chorus, and uh, man, I don't blame you if you need to take that down an octave. Don't hurt yourselves. Let me rediscover you.